All right, right now in the five series, we're going to look at children's albums that I love. Okay, I also collect children's albums. All right, mainly for breaks and loops and and samples and stuff. But sometimes they've got some good music on there too. So um, we're just going to get we're going to dive straight into it. First one up is um Healthy Hippo. Now me and my daughter work out to a track on this every other day. There's a track on here over this hard hip hop beat which is about exercising and being healthy and stretching and we do a little workout to it but that's that that's not the only track on here there's a couple other joints on here that are seriously banging hard drums and it's got a hip hop edge to it good album <laughs> yeah it's got hip hop edge this one here Burbujas this is a Latin American record I'm not really sure where in Latin America that is from. I think it's press in, in the US. It was probably a popular show. I saw somebody who's watching this knows about this, this show. Please keep me, um, leave a comment and let me know about this show. But anyway, this, um, this LP has some good music on here. It's got some good, like, Latin pop, right? Latin pop soul. And there's even a, a track on here. I think it's the last track on track two. It's kind of like weird, kind of psyche out there that's that, that's the thing about children's records right they, they kind of break a lot of rules right because it's geared towards entertaining kids it's not about making hard beats but anyway this record has some tunes on here this record i can't tell you anything about this record really because i do not read israeli but um it is a really dope like psych folk Israeli children's record. I don't know how else to really ex explain this record, but it's got some deep, really interesting and hard psych folk with children's vocals, which gives it an, an um, interesting slant. If you want to know more about this record, hit me up in the comments and I'll leave uh, um, Discogs code for you to, to look it up. It's kind of rare. And, and upon research, I found out that, that there's, there's one on Discogs and it's not going for cheap. Tell you that much, but um, it's not going for stupid money either. Sesame Street, um, there's a lot of Sesame Street albums that bring that funk. I could have chosen a number of them, I chose this one. This is just another, another one of those Sesame Street albums. This is Susan, this right, this has Susan on it. She's, she's a beautiful, like, vocalist too. This brings that funk and great songs, it's just hits it out the park. Don't sleep on Sesame Street, believe. And this one, No More Feeling Yucky. I love the title. I love the, the cover. And this has two or three. Well, I wrote down two, but I, I think there's more. But it's two really hard funk joints on this album. No More Feeling Yucky. I'm a music creator. I'm a music director. And I have to stay on the pulse because I also DJ too and have a record label. So I'm pretty well-rounded. Because we're high five recluse and our label is good fine records and on this episode we're talking about children's records come on let's get it 